Everyone enjoys a beautiful landscape, but keeping your lawn and plants healthy takes regular watering. One of the easiest ways to do this is with an automatic underground irrigation system. You control exactly when, where, and how much water is applied, ensuring that you water as efficiently as possible. But did you know irrigation systems need to be properly installed and maintained? If not, they can waste a lot of precious water. This short video will show you how to look at your irrigation system and determine how efficiently it's watering. You'll learn how to spot potential water wasting problems and take care of them. When you're done, you'll have a super water efficient system that will keep your landscape green and healthy. Let's get started. First, you need to thoroughly inspect all the components of your system. Let's start with the valves. Each area of your yard, or zone, is turned on and off with a sprinkler valve. You may have anti-siphon valves that are above ground, or you may use inline valves that are usually located underground in a valve box. Valves are often near each other, close to your irrigation controller, but your valves may be in different areas around your yard. Once you locate all your valves, do a quick inspection for leaks with the system off. They should be dry with no visible water leaking out. You'll need to check each valve for proper operation. Turn the solenoid on the top of the valve about a quarter turn until its zone begins to water. Make sure there are no leaks of the valve while it is running. Don't worry, it's common for a little water to come out when you first turn it on. To turn the valve off, twist the solenoid back the other way until it's tight again. If any of your valves are leaking, there are several things you can do. Just make sure to turn off the main water supply to the irrigation system before you attempt to fix a valve. You may need to disassemble and clean the valve. You may have to tighten the connection to the pipe, or it might be time to replace a valve. Check the valve manufacturer's website for tips. Next, go to your controller. Most controllers allow you to manually turn on each zone. Activate each zone one at a time and let it run for about a minute. Make sure they come on and turn off. This is also a good time to write down exactly what each zone waters in your yard. Next, take a look around your yard. Soft, wet ground or a large puddle may indicate that you have a broken or leaking pipe. If that's the case, you'll need to dig a bit to find the leak and repair it. Also, keep an eye out for brown spots or spots where the grass is much greener or taller than the rest of your yard. Take note of these areas. We'll look at reasons for that later. It's time to inspect your sprinklers. Once again, turn on each zone. Check for any missing or broken sprinkler heads. You may need to replace some. Also, make sure every head on a zone is the same basic type of sprinkler. There are fixed pattern pop-up sprays and rotating sprinklers. All of the heads on a zone must be the same type. You should never mix sprays with rotating sprinklers, for example, since they water at different rates. Change out any sprinklers that don't match the others on that zone. Look at the sprinkler heads and make sure they are not buried too deep or raised too high. The top of the head should be flush or slightly higher than the ground. Make sure the heads are not tilted. When popped up, they should be straight and perpendicular to the ground. If not, dig around each head and straighten it. Each sprinkler head should pop up and have a strong spray pattern. If some don't pop up all the way or spray properly, you may have too many heads on that zone. Your water pressure or flow rate might not be strong enough to run that many sprinklers at the same time. On the other hand, if you see misting or fogging, you may have high water pressure and need to install a pressure regulator. Inspect each head to make sure it is pointed in the right direction and the pattern is correct. Check the distance each head is watering. Most sprinklers allow you to adjust their distance as well as their pattern. Check the manufacturer's website for tips on how to make these adjustments. If a sprinkler head is not working properly, the nozzle may need to be cleaned or replaced or the entire head may need to be changed out with a new one. 
The next piece of the puzzle is your irrigation controller. This is the brains of your system. It controls when and how long each zone waters. There are many different types and manufacturers of controllers. Make sure you understand how to program yours. Instruction manuals are usually available from the manufacturer's websites. First, go to your controller and make sure the correct date and time is set. Some controllers save their information when the power goes out by using a battery. If your controller has a battery, it's a good idea to replace it every six months. Next, make sure each zone is programmed the way you want it to run. Most controllers use a multiple program, or ABC system. Each program can be set to water multiple zones in your yard. For example, program A may control the watering for your lawn. Program B may handle the trees and shrubs. And program C may do the vegetable garden. Each program will have its own start times and days, and any single zone can be included in each program. Make sure you understand the way your controller works. This is where a lot of water can be wasted if you program your controller incorrectly. A good place to get tips on how long and how often to run each zone is from your local university extension. Some irrigation manufacturers also have runtime calculators on their websites. You might not realize it, but many sprinkler controllers already contain some easy-to-use water-saving features. Some things to look for include 1. A rain shutoff device. Almost any controller can have a rain shutoff device attached to it. This automatically prevents the system from watering when it's raining. 2. If you don't have a rain shutoff device, many controllers allow you to temporarily suspend watering during rainy days. By activating the rain delay feature, you can stop watering for up to several days then the system automatically returns to its normal watering schedule. Three, many controllers have a handy seasonal adjustment feature. This allows you to quickly adjust your watering times up or down, depending on the season, without changing any part of your program. For example, if it is unusually warm outside, you may want to water 20% more than normal, but still water on the same days and times as before. Now that the system has been tuned up and inspected, let's run it and see how it's doing. As part of your outdoor water savings kit, you received five small plastic cups with measuring gauges printed on the side. Use these to check how evenly your system is watering. Choose one of the watering zones on your system. Place the cups around the zone, spacing them evenly across the whole area. It may be necessary to test each zone several times, moving the cups around the area until you have tested the entire space. Turn on the zone where the cups are placed and run it for about five minutes. After you shut the zone off, take a look at the amount of water in each cup. They should hold about the same amount of water. If some of the cups are dry or have significantly more water, then your system is watering unevenly and you could be wasting water. Repeat this process for each zone in your system. If your system is not watering evenly, review all of the steps in this video and make sure you have fixed all of the problems that you can correct yourself. If it's still not watering evenly, your system may not have been designed properly. Many manufacturers provide a free sprinkler system design service. Give them a basic drawing of your yard and some other basic information, and they'll send back a detailed sprinkler plan. Try requesting one of these free designs and comparing it to your actual system. It may give you ideas about changes you need to make to be more efficient. A professional irrigation contractor is also a great resource to help you get your system up to peak performance. A good contractor can perform a more extensive system check and take care of the maintenance items we talked about earlier. Thank you for your interest in saving water and taking steps to make your automatic irrigation system as efficient as possible.